Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Excuse the lighting. First things first, I'm the realist. No, a joke. Um, yeah, the lighting. The sun is right there, and I really don't want to close my blinds. Maybe I should. Yeah, because it is quite bright. But it's such a lovely evening. I don't want to like spoil the whole evening. But I'm gonna have to close my blinds. Okay, I'll be back in a second. One sec. Maybe that's a little bit better. I think that lighting works a little bit better. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, okay. So it is coming up that time of year, the glorious time of year. Um, exams, GCSEs, A-levels, whatever. And oh my goodness, it's such a stress. However, I've been through my GCSEs, so I'm out the other side. Yes, there's a light at the end of the tunnel of GCSEs. Trust me, I did not think there was. I thought, oh my goodness, I'm going to die during my GCSEs because it's just too much, too much. Um, but I'm here as a living witness that you do survive your GCSEs and I'm going to show you how to do it with eyes. Um, my younger brother, I say younger, he's about like 700 foot, um, he is going through his GCSEs right now and I thought as a big sister, hi Mike if you're watching by the way, um, as a big sister what would I say to him? So I thought, there's not probably many of my subs subscribers, Pro I would really like to tell my brother how to revise and let him know like tips and tricks that I use to help him um, and I thought hang on, light bulb. Some of my subscribers are in the same situation and going through their GCSEs or your A-levels um, like I am um, and you might want some tips on revising and stuff and I purposely kept all of my revision material from last year um, during my GCSEs to film this video for this year. Let's get on to it because this video is probably already too long. Move on, move on, let's get into the video. <laughs> okay so I'm going to start with like the compulsory subjects so I'm going to start with English. In English, so by the way, excuse me if I like forget bits or get things wrong because I haven't done this for a year, so excuse that. Um, however, you do, well, I did. I'm going to sneeze. Oh, I'm going to sneeze, I'm going to sneeze, I'm going to sneeze. Hey, hello. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, hello. Yeah, 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 yeah. I did um, of Mice and Men and The Crucible and the first thing I would say especially for English and actually for most subjects um, is these books now we what syllabus were we, were, 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 were we on OCR were we anyway these are the GCSE English um, C CGP books so I've got one for The Crucible here. I also have one for Of Mice and Men and then I also have the GCSE um, AQA Anthology um, booklet as well and this was for if you did English Lit um, I think um, this was the um, poems and um, all the poems and the um, analysis are in here so the books are really really good and they actually really help me and um, so you have like analysis in these little boxes so it's highlighted and then you've got like analysis so this was really helpful for me and then you also have notes um about like the form the structure and the language feelings and attitudes in the poem and um like steps further to help you revise so that was and, and also <coughs> my voice is going really deep <coughs> little section here oh um, and oh, and it says you've got to know what the poem's about that really helped me because um, I struggle with like reading in between the lines and I'll just read it and I'll be like what the hell is that about so that um, the anthology um, booklet really really helped me and um, I will try and link this website um, if they've got a website yes they've got a website I'll link um, the website where you can get these books in the description box so um, you can go and get them if you need them the other English books The Crucible um, it goes through like a run up of the characters like Mary, Wa Mary Warren and Abigail Williams and Reverend Hale and it tells you a bit about the characters and then it goes through which really helped me each act so act one and what happened act two, act three and act four 
and that really helped me get the get my head and get the gist of the actual because the crucible was really hard for me like the storyline because it's about like witchcraft and stuff and I was like oh um but yeah this really helped me and then it goes into like more detail of like a theocracy and like puritan puritans and witch trials and stuff so these books are really really handy also what i used to do with english especially was um mind maps so i if i i knew like mary no not mary running Ab abigail williams um she was quite a um a main character in it so i knew that she would come up at some point so i did like a mind map of like all different things about her and the same things for of my and men maths for me was my worst subject ever um i'm really really bad at it and i i've only ever got one c in my whole life in maths and that was my real gcse exam so i like was so lucky uh, but i revised so much for maths um i actually i was in for the higher paper um however i asked if i could move down to the foundation paper because I was just like, no, I'm not going to be able to get a B. So, but I have still got the higher book here. And um, again, if you're in my school and you need any of the books that I've mentioned, I, I will mention in this video, then come and see me in school because I've got them all here and they're just going to waste. Um, so yeah, but maths. This is the book I had. This is the Collins Revision New GCSE Maths book. Um, as I said, it was the higher one. Um, and in here, um, you've got like if I remember rightly yeah so the first half of this book is kind of telling you how to do certain subjects and then the second half of the book which I absolutely love is you practicing doing it so it's like got questions of all different things so the hair's like graphs and that, that like Pythagoras I don't know maybe triangles and stuff um, algebra, I, lo I love algebra actually, I'm not going to lie. The beginning it kind of tells you how to do certain things. I'm really bad at holding stuff up and my arms are aching. Um, but yeah, as you can see here. And it also has the grades on the side. So um, you can kind of see what grade you're working at. Um, I obviously never got onto the A and the A star stuff. Um, just stuck to me C's and me B's in maths. Um, so for maths, I kind of literally just read the sections that I wasn't as strong on and then practice the questions. I think that's all you can really do in maths is just practice doing the things that you know you can't do until you can do it. Um, but yeah, that's literally all I did in maths because it was the worst subject for me and meh. Okay, science. <clears throat> Another one that I wasn't strong on maths and science were my worst um however this is the same book as the maths one um collins revision um new gcse science and additional science because i was in the higher set so i did additional as well um and this kind of works the exact same as the previous one um the first half is um showing you sections of the science so and I actually love this. I did so much highlighting in this book that I highlighted because I've got a visual memory and like a photographic memory. So, um, oh, paper clip. So I can like, so in the exam, I kind of like remembered what colour that information was in, which made me remember um, the words that were highlighted in that colour. That sounds so stupid, but that's just the way my brain works. Um, so yeah, this book was really handy for me to like, um section off different subjects so not subjects topics of so the um the modules that i knew i could do i just leave out and the modules that needed more time like leaf adaptions for photosynthesis i would highlight and make notes on and stick it on the wall so i was like constantly seeing it <clears throat> and i'd go over it all the time oh my goodness okay diffusion and osmosis yeah, this is biology and uh, my biology teacher was the best teacher ever. So um, I really wanted to do good in biology. Um, so like, and they have like these little bubbles so you remember. And it's just really good because you can highlight it, put notes on it. And the, um, the actual information is really set out really clearly and really nicely. And for me as a visual learner, that really helps. Like 
really clear layout of information and a lot of diagrams as well. This is the osmosis, no, transpiration, transpiration. Transpiration is the evaporation and diffusion of water from inside the cells, no, inside the leaves. Okay, yeah, I can't remember science very well. Also, it's got like a summary of the module at the end in like these mind maps. And then again, at the back, it's got like continental drift, what's that? Uh, what process moves tectonic plates? There you go. Apparently, I knew that. Um, and yeah, and then at the back again, you've got um, like a space to fill out questions and practice, um, which I find really handy because um, you're kind of practicing and getting yourself used to the questions, how they're laid out in the exam, and it also shows you what you do know and what you don't. Um, so again, I will leave the website to these books, the science one and the maths from um, Collins Education in the description box as well if you, as well, if you want to get them. Um, but yeah, that is science. That's the only book I had for science. Okay, I've just had a break because I felt like I was just rambling on and on. So I've had a break, sat down for a minute, ate me muffin, empty wrapper, and um, I'm going to move on because I just felt I was like not being helpful at all. Um, I'm just going to let you know kind of like what I use to revise and like and tips and tricks that I used revising each subject and what I did. So moving on to ICT. So ICT was a subject that I really enjoy. I am um, I now do ICT at A level. Um, so as you can tell by the top of my book, I really did go to town on the revision. Um, oh. So this is the book that I had for ICT. Um, this is the WJEC GCSE ICT My Revision Notes book. Um, again, I will leave the um, link to this. Really out of breath already. I will leave the link to the website that sells this book um, in the description box along with all the others. Um, but yes, so what I did in this book and, oh, what is that? Okay, yeah. So what I did at the top of this book was I had, um, I stuck post-it notes in the top um, to let me know and quick access to like um, different subjects. So for this, for example, this says control systems. So I could open that page and go straight to control systems so I could revise um, that section. I also, again, like my, um, like my science book, I did a lot of highlighting. So, oh, my page has fallen out. There's some highlighting there. Ah, oh. What was really big for me, in, especially in ICT, um, was past papers. Now, this is a past paper that I had in my um, book just there. And I'd fill these in. I'd ask my um, teacher for some, I'd fill them in and I'd take them back to him and get him to mark them um, and we'd also do a lot in class anyway. I'd say for me ICT the biggest thing was to have past papers so I can do it um, because it's okay like knowing the um, information but if you don't write it down correctly it's kind of like you know. So uh, past papers was a big thing for me in ICT and um, you can print them off from your um, like spe specification online or you can just ask your teacher to get some for you um but yeah this book's really handy it goes through literally everything that you need to know um and also it's got like don't fall out please it's got like um the sections ah, um these um little boxes here so when you can revise this section and once you think that you know it you can tick this box up here and this says revise so you know what you've revised and what you haven't um, and that's really handy ah did um, GCSE German so I'm just going to get my stuff so um, the biggest thing in German actually was coursework was it coursework or like speaking and listening um, tests so we did have a final exam at the end of the year um, but we just needed to know like vocab for it and stuff like that which you kind of learn going along writing essays. So this was one of the essays I writ in, um, in German and it was about 
health and fitness. So we had to write um, a two page essay in German, obviously. And then we had to have 12 questions um, on the other side as well that we would know off by half and be able to um, speak on a mic and Sarah would record it and that would be our exam. Um, and I was finding this particular one really, really hard to do. Um, I just could not remember it for the sake of me. Um, and I, I remember sitting down with my dad and thinking, oh my goodness, I'm so stressed out. I'm, I'm going to fail German. I'm going to fail everything. I'm going to fail every GCSE. Um, and my dad sat down with me and helped me with my German. And um, obviously, as you all know, I am obsessed with One Direction. You're probably wondering, how the hell does this fit, this fit in with German? Um, but me and my dad decided that I was going to make my essay um, fit in with the tune of a One Direction song. I sang my essay in the tune of um everybody want to steal my girl my essay fit the tune of steal my girl and i can still i can still sing this essay in the tune of that song to this day i'm fucking ende gay ich ins bett wenn ich müde bin literally like at the weekend i get to bed when i'm tired in the tune of steal my girl by one direction <laughs> but it really did help love german looking back on it i actually did like german um but yeah if you struggle with learning essays and um, learning like big paragraphs of work, especially in a different language, put it in the style of a song that you really like. Obviously, I, I was obsessed with One Direction, still am. Um, so I sung it in the version, in the tune of that, and that really did help me. And also, my teacher let me sit in the corner of the class and sing it to myself, because <laughs> I'm that idiot that sit in the corner of the class and things to themselves. That's me. Um, so yeah, I literally sat in the corner of the class, writing my essay, singing, I'm fucking under, gay ich in spet, wenn ich müde bin. But it helped, I got a B in it, so it's all right. All is good over here. Moving on to my two favorite subjects. I take these subjects now, I absolutely love them. Um, first one will be um, music. As you all know, I'm obsessed with my music. Um, but yeah, so in GCSE, um, my teacher gave me this booklet, which basically had everything in, everything that we need to know. This is like the theory side of music. Um, so in music, you do like a perform, like half of performance. Um, and I actually, I think it was, I had a B in my music course before I even sat the exam because like I'd got A stars and A's in my performances. I think I've got all A stars in my performances, full marks. So um, I just had to get, I think it was 19 marks to get an A, which was like really good. 19 marks out of 80. Um, no, 11 marks out of 80. It was 11 marks out of 80 to get um, an A. But I wanted an A star, which I ended up did get an A star, um, so that was really good. Anyway, it really worked well for me because I, as you can see, I have books for every subject. Um, I'm a visual learner, so looking at it and seeing it work out is how I learn. So um, the rhythm and metre and the beat of the bar is here, and I'd highlight it and I'd sort out and make notes on things I needed to learn further. Oh, I hit myself in the face. Um, and then harmony and tonality and all things there. I don't know how to, how to describe it. I just kind of read it and made notes on it and made flashcards on them. Um, texture and melody. Texture and melody. Timbre and dynamics. But yeah, that really helped me having like a booklet. Okay, moving on to my last subject which is philosophy and ethics, which I again, I take now. Um, I ended up getting an A star in philosophy and ethics, short course and full course, which I was really, really happy about. Um, so, because philosophy and ethics actually was my favorite subject, I really did go to town on the revision. But to revise philosophy and ethics, I actually made flashcards. Now, these were my lovely little group of flashcards. Um, I put like the topic name on the front, so we have immortality, miracles, the existence of God, and the problem of evil. 
so I will like I'll take one of these out so I can show you so the existence of God this was a big topic so we'd have a little one there and then I would have so I would have all the pink cards were like the argument for the existence of God and then all the purple cards were the arguments against and we had different topics within them so these were the morality cards for and against then we had the religious experience cards for and against miracles cards for and against and then the design argument for and against and the cosmological argument for and against um, having little cards with all of the information you need to know on is so easy to like just have I had them in my bag with me at all times so if I was on the bus, a train, a free lesson I never had free lessons in school then but like break, lunchtime, anywhere I needed to revise I could because they were in my bag um, and I also found that it was quite easy for me to get my nan and granddad to test me on them because um, they could literally just hold it and I would have to say what was on the card and they'd tell me whether it was right or wrong or what I needed to, what I forgot out um, so they really helped me Flashcards really help me and if you're a visual learner um, then I think flashcards are probably the best way to go um, for a lot of people. Okay, so I feel like this video was just a complete waste of time. Don't know what you guys thought, let me know in the comments. Um, if this helped you out, I'm really glad that it did. Um, but yeah, I just want to put another little point out there. If you're stressing about GCSEs and like really, really working yourself up about them, um, because I did, don't like I know that's easy to say and um, like don't stress about it it'll be okay and it's easily said than done but I was at that point where I was like full on panic I was having like panic attacks literally every other day worrying about exams and it was just there was no need for that stress Um, if you put in the time and the effort of revising I can promise you 190 10 million thousand billion percent it will pay off all you can do is your best if you try your best and you still don't get the grades that you wanted then you you can't do any more than your best at the end of the day and if your best isn't enough then you know so it you know what I mean you you can't do any more than your best so yeah don't stress out about it but please 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 do not sit there and go out with your friends every weekend and like do you know what I mean and like sit on your video games for like all night and just do no revision because you're honestly in like the years year after or two years after you are going to be kicking yourself so bad because it really does pay off if you put the time and the effort in of revising um so yeah and also you have like a longer summer anyway so just think if I don't sit there on YouTube for like this like hour that I have and just do a little bit of revision then in the summer I'll be able to go on YouTube every single day I'll be able to have lions until three o'clock in the afternoon if you really want to get your revision done and get these exams out of the way and try your best because if you don't do your best then you will regret it if you do your best then you know you can't do any more than that and you won't be kicking yourself because you tried your best and that's all you can do. Good luck in your exams guys. Um, let me know how things go. If let, When you get your grades or when you're doing your exams, um, tweet me or message me on Instagram or whatever and let me know how your exams are going and what you're doing to revise and stuff. Um, yeah, really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. I feel like I've just rambled on um, but maybe it's helpful for some of you. Don't forget, if you're in my school and you haven't got any of the books um, and you need them, then come and see me because they're just going to waste. Thank you very much for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Comment any video suggestions that you have um, for next Friday. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you very soon with another video. Bye. Bye, 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 bye. Wouldn't be a Lucy bye, Birch bye. video if we didn't have a musical outerlude. Instead of an interlude, I'm going to call it outerlude. Boom. Makes me feel like a dangerous mess. Something about something about. Makes me feel like a dangerous mess. Something about something about how. Makes me wanna do things that I should do. Something about something about.
Bye.